Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question and it's this. Did you know that you can use the pressure that's coming against you today and actually make it work for you? In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, it says this. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. He's talking about pressure, affliction, test, trial, tribulation. He said our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Friend, you can make the pressure that's coming against you actually work for you. You can use it to catapult you into more of God's goodness, into more of God's glory for your life. You know, you've heard people say that you can't have a testimony without having a test. Well, you can't have a victory without entering into a battle, without being under attack. You can't overcome something without having something to overcome. And these things that you're facing, they are just another opportunity for you to experience more of God's goodness, more of God's glory in your life. And the second way you can make your pressure work for you is this. These things that are coming against you, you can actually use them to help you develop spiritually. You know, when you're going through a test, when you're going through a fight, when you're going through a battle, you get to practice spiritual principles. You get to practice using your faith. You get to practice being led by the Lord. And as you practice these things, what you're going to find is that when you get through this thing, when you overcome this thing, you're actually going to be stronger spiritually than when you started. So I want to encourage you today. Look at that problem. Look at that pressure today. Look at the challenge today and tell it, you're about to work for me. And when I get through with you, I'm going to be sitting in more of God's goodness and I'm going to be stronger, more stronger than I ever have been spiritually in my life. And you can make that pressure work for you. You know, there's a man named Kenneth Hagin Sr. He was a minister. His ministry started, I think, in the late 1950s and went all the way up into the 2000s. And uh, when he was 16, he was on his deathbed and he knew nothing about faith. He knew nothing about healing. He knew nothing, little to nothing about the Word of God, but he started to read his Bible. And God started to reveal things to him about how to receive his healing and reveal things to him about faith. And what ended up happening is he received his complete healing from that sickness. And then he went on for 50 years to teach others about faith, to teach others about the Word of God, to teach others about being healed. And see, friend, he was, that thing that came against him, the pressure that came to destroy him, actually aided him in experiencing more of God's goodness. It actually aided his development. And he made the devil eat it. He made the devil wish he never would have tried to kill him, that he never would have brought that sickness on him. Because when he was through with that sickness, when he overcame that sickness, he was sitting in more of God's goodness, and he was stronger spiritually than, he's ever, than he had ever been before. And friend, you can do the same thing in your life. You can make that pressure work for you. Now here's the key. If that pressure is going to work for you, then you're going to have to respond to it the right way. Because if you don't respond to the pressure the right way, then what's going to end up happening is you're going to be working for the pressure. The pressure is not going to be working for you. It's going to be working against you. And if you don't respond the right way, you're not going to be sitting in any more of God's goodness when you're through. You're not going to be more developed spiritually when you're through. But if you'll respond to it the right way, you can make the pressure work for you. And I believe that the same thing that happened to him can happen to you. That when you get through with it, you're going to have a testimony about God's goodness in your life. That you're going to be experiencing more of God's goodness in your life. And that you're going to be stronger than you ever were before spiritually. You know, David did this with Goliath. He asked, the, he asked the, the people, he said, what does the man get that kills Goliath? And they said, well, he gets riches, he gets the king's daughter, and his father's house is free in all of Israel. And David used Goliath. And when he was finished with Goliath, David was sitting in more of God's goodness, and 
and David was stronger than he ever was before spiritually. And friend, you can use pressure the same way that he did. As we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, you can make that pressure work for you. Number two, you can use that pressure to experience more of God's goodness, and you can use it to develop spiritually. And number three, if that pressure is going to work for you, the key thing is this. You have to respond to it the right way. Let's pray. Father, I release my faith over everybody watching the broadcast today, Lord. And I thank you that any pressure that's coming against them, Lord, that they're going to use that pressure and it's going to work for them. And when they get through with it, they're going to be sitting in more of your goodness and they're going to be stronger than they ever were before spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.